All right. It's done here from the board. Thanks for coming along and checking out this video. So if you've been following the progress so far, what we've done is we've had a look at this 22 inch jack plane. We've taken out the iron and the cap iron and we've cleaned them off. And then we've now gone through the process of sharpening. So I've now sharpened this uh, iron down to a 25 degree bezel. And I've also flattened the back of the cap iron and the iron itself. So we're going to actually give this a try now on this piece of pallet timber. Uh, you can see it's pretty rough. I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to get splinters. Um, it's pretty dirty. It's got nail holes in it. You know, it's got a big chunk missing out of here. But we're going to give it a try. Now my bench is pretty rickety. It doesn't have a plane stop. So here is my prompt, uh, my, my impromptu plane stop that I've been working with as I've been playing and, and learning. So what I've got here is it's just a piece of bed frame. And this bit of angled aluminium is actually part of the bed frame. I just flipped it around. It used to face the other way. Uh, and these bits were where the end of the bed screwed in. But it works because it is lower than the height of the timber. So the iron is uh, the actual plane shouldn't clip it unless if I go off the end too bad. And then I've just clamped it to my bench at the front and at the back so it doesn't rock around. And that's it. So at some later stage, when I do actually get my business together to make a proper workbench, I can have dog holes and I can have bench stops and all that kind of stuff. But for now, this is what we got. Now I've got a bit of paper just sitting underneath as very light cushioning. Uh, we're going to put the iron in. Just going to make sure that this is nice and snug. Doop -doo. All right, so we're just going to gently lower that down and then we're going to put the frog in i'm going to nest it in and then we're going to get my hammer just going to give it some nice light taps to make sure it's nice and tight now the iron should be seated and the question is is it straight no it's not i can feel and see that uh, this side of the mouth is sticking out more than that side. And so we need to give it a bit of adjustment with the iron, the hammer, try and straighten that up. Okay. How does that look now? Is it hitting roughly the same? Yeah, I think that's all right. It's sticking out very, very finely, but we're just we're gonna give that a try and see if that's too much and we have to back it off uh, or if that will actually be okay. So this is actually the first time, first time that I have used this huge jack plane. Um, <laughs> And look at that, we've got some shavings. Well, it works. Now, we see some of these chips that are catching underneath. very happy with the fact that it's actually taking material off but it might be possibly a bit too deep to start with uh, or I'm working against the grain I'm not actually entirely sure but the grain direction from here looks like it's the right way because if I go this way it's potentially going to rip out more have more tear out but we'll yeah, I mean, that, that feels a lot worse. Uh, so let's, let's flip that back around. Whoa. A lot of force going into driving this thing. Whoa, hey, look at that. 
Now that is what I'm talking about. You get some really lovely shavings, some full curls. Oh, this is a heavy duty workout, that's for sure. Just lifting this thing, I haven't actually weighed it, but it's pretty heavy. Okay, so that's kind of dug in quite a bit there, unintentionally. Yeah, so I think the iron's probably sticking out a little bit too much. Might be a little bit too aggressive right now. Uh, so how we normally get that back out, supposedly, is we just bash. I don't even know what just fell. Probably a piece of wood. Uh, we hit the back, and that should make everything advance. And you can see there's a whole bunch of hammer marks <laughs> already on the back there. So that's... Uh, Try it. And then we just need to make sure that the frog is tapped back in. Whoa. Look at that. That one tap has actually completely pulled the iron back so much that I'm actually barely getting any shavings. So that's good. So now we just give it a, a light tap forward, reseat the frog. And try again. Yeah. Yeah, that's much better. Still getting some good shavings there. Oh, yeah. All right, so jamming underneath. Now, question is, has it gone off center? No. And that's probably not the right technique to punch something through, but you can see it's, it's ripping out really big chunks. But that's starting to get smooth. And if I, yeah, so there's a bit of bowing on that. You can see how it's rocking, which means the middle is actually higher than the ends. So I probably need to focus on trying to get the middle planed down. Now this being a jack plane, it's designed to rough and take out a lot of material very quickly compared to say a smoothing plane, which is going to be a little bit finer and designed to make things smoother. So these big thick shavings is kind of what you want. Uh, of course, it's just also on the, the right direction and everything else. So, you know, look, we are. Uh, as far as I'm going, I'm really happy with this because I don't have any experience around this. I don't have any formal training. I have nobody who's, teaching me and looking over my shoulder and helping me out uh, except for the internet so I'm not going to bore you with trying to finish this off right now but I think we've done it I think we've actually got this this beautiful old plane back to I mean that still feels really nice and sharp although it's uneven so this side's once again uh, dipping out so need to uh give it a tap because it's it seems to be moving yeah all right that hasn't advanced it too hard I don't think uh, but oh yeah. a much fuller cut there right and that's kind of what I'm looking for it's not it's not quite see-through see-through but the light is definitely shining through it so it's a lovely shaving uh, now we've succeeded we've turned a antique that was on sale for $40 uh, on Facebook marketplace that was relegated for a man cave that was probably just gonna sit there and look pretty for somebody not be doing any work uh, and a couple of hours of cleaning sharpening 
we are smoothing and this is going to be an absolute workhorse an absolute beast of an iron well of a of a plane sorry oh it's giving me an absolute workout i'll tell you you can hear I'm, my breathing's a bit labored already because of that and and it's going to turn you know reclaimed timber um i've got a bunch of that pallet timber down here and it's going to turn it into usable pieces of wood like here's some i prepared earlier um that i did with with the size 4 Sontax plane that I've got um, and it'll allow me to make stuff, make stuff and instead of this going and becoming firewood or just rotting away on the side of the road in the industrial parks nearby where these companies are um, I'll be able to do stuff and things that I'm looking at doing uh, that I've already started prototyping are things like arrow, arrow pullers I keep wanting to say arrow pullers too much time in the archery community in the past uh, keycap pullers possibly you know wrist rests uh, I've been playing with the chisel that I sharpened the other day and this is a really poor attempt but my first attempt at making a, a mortise hole the size of a switch you know and things like that I think there's there's a lot of opportunity that I have with a supply of things like pallet timber that will give opportunity to make some really unique you know, interesting, handmade, ugh, truly artisan kind of pieces. Of course, that's going to take time before I have mastery of any of this. <laughs> uh, but hey, you know, that's, that's part of the hobby. It's part of uh, doing what you do, enjoying what you do, getting good at it. And then hoping that you'll be able to take people along the ride with you and enjoying the journey. So I'm going to end it there. Um, I think that's a really big success. Obviously, I have to learn more around tuning this and adjusting this and working with, you know, see all these shavings just getting caught now in the actual throat, in the mouth, because that gap is really small. Um, but... It, it's great it's great so hopefully you'll see uh over the next period of time the results of what i can start doing with this and so over here you know i've actually now picked up a whole bunch of other antique planes i've got the slightly bigger size is that a five i believe is it a five or a six that's a number five there i've got a, a four and a half here um and then i've got a record 78 rebate plane that I need to clean up as well all of these need to be cleaned up and resharpened and stuff like that so I'm really getting into it and I've got bits of scrap timber from bed slats I've got a hand brace that I need to clean up and fix and an egg beater drill it's it's sort of the next stage of me working with my hands uh, now that I've got the shed space and doing something different and more that isn't reliant on you know group buys and Chinese manufacturing and CNC and anodizing woes and all that kind of stuff so yeah if this is the kind of stuff that you like and and think is going to be interesting and maybe give something different back to the community then well hopefully you'll continue to follow this journey uh, and enjoy the kinds of shenanigans I get up to oh. all right <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there Thank you very much for checking out this video. Hit that like button, subscribe button, bell notification button, you know the drill. And of course, as usual, until next time, happy clacking.